Hi, my name is Paul Thibault III. I'm the founder, CEO, and chief ILMer at 10 Books of Home. And the video you're about to watch is called Project Nudge. And the reason why we called it such is because I work with a boy named Danny who has autism. And over the 36 weeks that we've worked together, I have watched Danny begin to nudge off of the autistic spectrum. And how do I know this? Well, I'm doing a PhD in neuroscience, and so I've studied a lot about the autistic research community. And there is a term that they use called nudge to describe the possibility that children that are in early childhood, so between the ages of zero and five, can actually, with the right type of intervention, begin to move off of the autistic spectrum. And when we looked back at these 36 lessons, what we saw convinced us that we should do a little video to show what we think is Danny beginning to nudge off of the autistic spectrum. So I hope you enjoy. How many lemons are there? I've count the lemons. One, two, three. Three. Count them. Count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Seven, eight, nine, two. And before he used to skip a lot of numbers. He, he used to skip seven and eight, and it just goes straight nine, ten. And then some of the numbers would be just That's my boy. mumbling. That's my boy. So it's pretty much gotten him to actually not just say the numbers correctly, but know, like when he sees them, oh, what number is that? And quickly say it right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And then eight, nine, here, go like this, go like this. That. There you go. Now it won't get on your face. <laughs> I got my hair. Hey, he has a mustache now. There you go. Trace that eight. There you go. Down and around, all the way around, back up and around. Uh, yeah! High five. You traced it. High dot. High orange dot. Danny, look. So far, Danny. You've traced the you've traced the six, and you've traced the five, and you've traced the eight. Look, you got it along the line. Go again. There you go. Ready? Get in there. Get in there. All right. There we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Almost. 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 One more. Oh. Okay. One more. All right. All right. Okay. right, you want to go right there? Where do you want to cut? Right in the middle. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Red. And look, they're both red. Can you cut a piece of paper the same length as the red pen? Good job, Danny. Go. You got it. There you go, boy. Okay, watch your fingers, though. Watch your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at Danny go. Look at Danny go. <gasps> nice. Oh, are you going to open the scissors and you can. Oh, you want a number? What do you want to do? One. Can you tell me what you want to do? What do you want to do? One. Say, I, I want, want, I want, I want, two, two, number, one, number, my, my, my fingers. Yeah. The more improvement I see, is that you can tell him words to repeat it and he would, you know, you ask him to do it 
he would just, you know, try to. Here? Here you go, what do you hear? Oh, it's a party! Paul! Oh, it's a party! More time! Look, did you hear? My heart was having a party, dude. He used to be kind of a bully. Um, and now, since it, 10 months into 10 bucks at home, that's pretty much vanished. Like, he doesn't hit any. It's rare when he does, um, but it's pretty much the only way that he can express himself for right now because he can't say how he feels, like, oh, I don't like that. Um, please stop. Or he won't say it unless he's instructed. Because, Danny, look, the cats need some tea too. Look, Danny, the cats need some tea. They want some tea as well, okay? Yeah, give him some tea. And then him too. He wants some tea as well. He knows how to give affection now. He, he's getting more attached to us now. Before he was like, a, I don't know, he was, right, he was right there watching. He's pretty much just like, wait, he waits for you to come and he's so excited and he gives you high fives and he's pretty much built up on that, in that um, with all of us here. Some books at home kind of help give him that little bit of a push, I want to say, to pretty much be able to understand and not just, you know, whatever goes on in school, like you know, arithmetic and everything and how to write, but also pretty much building up on his social skills. He doesn't see it at all. I'm learning something new. He sees that, uh, oh, it's just a regular play date. And that's, in a way, that's the beauty of it. <laughs>